I am going to demonstrate to you today, right now, how XRP can hit $5,000 in an instant. It seems clear to me now. It will become clear to me. In this video, I will explain everything to you in simple terms. Let's get down to business. So the link to put this out there is XRP, which is the most useful cryptocurrency in the world. Ripple uses the XRP ledger to permit faster and more cost-efficient payments across international borders. Ripto-Linko initial public offering IPO blah. Is this cryptocurrency perhaps the most helpful one in the world? In today's world, sending money across the globe might take several days and cost significant expenses. Ripple, on the other hand, has a solution. As a cryptocurrency, XRP serves as a bridge between different currencies, making it possible to make instantaneous transfers across international borders. In order to revolutionize the way in which financial institutions move money, Ripple is utilizing a decentralized ledger in XRP to make the process faster and with fewer fees. Before the initial public offering IPO, anyone who is interested in investing in Ripple should do so via link2.com. Is this the most versatile cryptocurrency in the world? To put it simply, Ripple is not going to go public anytime soon. The initial public offering IPO would need to be approved by the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, and as you probably already know, the markets are likely to be quite uncertain because of the next election. It is definitely not going to take place, isn't it? Due to the fact that the market has been screaming, they are going to want to go public in a market that is going up. To what extent have we established new all-time highs in the stock market over the course of the past two years? The Nasdaq. It has been just ridiculous. Therefore, I believe that they are going to wait, and I believe that this is the reason why Ripple has been purchasing back some of the shares that were issued at the initial public offering. At this week's meeting, the Federal Reserve is going to most likely reduce interest rates by 50 basis points. And now, here it is. There is a probability of 57% that we will achieve a 25 basis point. Then there is this, which is a 43% likelihood. It is 5 minutes before 5 minutes before 5. Oh, please accept my apologies. It is a 57% possibility that there will be a 50% recut. My apologies. Please accept my apologies. Not a problem. U.S. centers are demanding a 0.75% rate decrease to POW. So, they are looking to reduce rates more quickly. The retail industry is in a state of financial crisis, which is why they need to do this, guys. We need money that is less expensive. Two, you also need to know that the United States of America needs to refinance its debt. If it is necessary for the United States to refinance its debt at a rate of 5%, the interest payments will amount to $2 trillion. Taxes only bring in between $4 and $5 trillion annually for the United States of America. In other words, we will be paying interest on 50% of the money that we bring in. As a result, the system is flawed. This is the reason why we need to switch to a different system. In light of this, I am convinced that XRP has the potential to become that new system. Not a problem. Okay, here it is. During the past 10 years, 2014, 2016, 18, 22, 22, and 2024, the price of Bitcoin and the federal funds rate have fluctuated here. The Federal Reserve is anticipated to reduce interest rates by 50 basis points on Wednesday. During the most recent instance of this happening, the Bitcoin market was launched. History is a cycle that repeats itself. The question is, are we going to take off now? Bitstamp, in conjunction with Ripple, is going to build its very own derivatives exchange that will be built fully on the XRP ledger. This is really exciting news. It is anticipated that the transaction involving the acquisition of Bitstamp by Robinhood, which is valued at $200 million, would be finalized in the first half of the year 2025. This new enterprise has the potential to significantly accelerate the spread of cryptocurrency all over the world and around the world. A company or an investor from an institutional setting. Additionally, they want access to the things that we provide. They want access to the equity markets around the clock. They want margin rates that are market leaders, and they want an excellent experience for their customers. So I believe that throughout the course of time, you will see us expanding into more areas, serving not only retail clients, but also other categories of customers, including other types of enterprises and institutions. I to that aim, we have announced that we will be acquiring Bitstamp, which is a cryptocurrency exchange that operates on a global scale. The fact that this company operates not only on a global scale, but also on an institutional level is one of the many reasons why it is so appealing. I provides us with access to a completely new consumer base that we are not already serving directly at this time. Over the next 10 years, I believe that we will be able to accomplish much more of that. Within the next several months, we will be creating our very own electronic derivatives exchange. When it comes to the last level of integration of actually some of the top 30 commercial banks around the world on Bitstamp as a service, this is something that we are most enthusiastic about, and we really hope to work closely with individuals there as well. Therefore, these commercial banks will provide Bitstamps with cryptocurrency. There is no doubt that this is something that we are quite proud of. Not a problem. And if they are able to create it on Bitstamp, then they are able to create it any place. Check out the amount of money that is in derivatives. It is worth noting that you are discussing four quadrillion dollars. All right, let's take a look at the amount of money that is held in derivatives by these banks. Doesn't this amount to 57 billion dollars? Do you agree that 57 billion, 188 million, and 164,000 
You also have Goldman Sachs, Citibank, and Bank of America, which together have a total of $22 billion, right? To put it another way, Wells Fargo is worth $13 billion, and State Street Trust Company is worth $3 billion. Blockchain is going to be the destination for all of this money ultimately. A. Eh? All right. It is important to make this information public for a number of reasons. They are not prepared, which is the most significant of the three. One of the parts of the puzzle which is referred to as the Codius is missing from their collection, and they are getting set to do so very soon. Take a look at the derivatives that this guy has. Because of this, the price of XRP would skyrocket to the moon. Perplexity was asked how much it would drive the price of XRP to in order for it to be able to state that each token is worth $5,000. On the other hand, what would happen if tokens were purchased from each and every exchange? In the event that the tokens are locked up in AMS, what are the consequences? As well as removed from circulation and removed from the market. Does that even, does the price even go up? Is that correct? Is there even a higher end to it? Is that correct? $10,000? Do you have 10,000 XRP in your possession? 100 million bucks is in your possession. That is wealth that is passed down from generation to generation, right? Wouldn't it be possible to transfer that into bonds? Not only that, but you can make five, four, or even $5 million in a single year by doing nothing at all. Money is possible to invest money in the stock market and get an average return of 8 to 10%, right? What exactly is it? 8 to $10 million every year. That would be enough to sustain you, right? In addition, you are free to live your life as you pleased and engage in any activity you choose. It's completely insane. I am looking forward to that as well. Additionally, Ripple and Bitstamp have recently launched their very own digital derivatives exchange. Here it is for you to appreciate. By possessing more than 50 active licenses in different countries, Bitstamps, which are owned by Robinhood, will considerably accelerate the company's entry into the cryptocurrency market around the world. Because of this, Ripple has decided to form a partnership with them and go forward with them. Bitstamp Limited, a worldwide cryptocurrency exchange, and Robinhood Markets Inc. have came to an agreement regarding the trading of cryptocurrencies. Since its founding in 2011, Bitstamp has established offices in Luxembourg, the United Kingdom, Slovenia, Singapore, and the United States of America. The acquisition of Robinhood by a global exchange will considerably expedite the company's expansion into the global cryptocurrency market. Bitstamp possesses more than 50 active licenses and registrations made on a global scale will bring clients to Robinhood from the European Union, the United Kingdom, the United States, and Asia. This is a boom. Not to mention, do you recall posting this? How would you proceed if the value of XRP reached $1,000? Now, all of us would be quite excited about it. It goes without saying that JP Morgan Chase has officially begun taking payments in XRP, which is absolutely fantastic. Vitalik Buterin claims that 2022 Ripple XRP is superior to Bitcoin, and you are aware of this statement from a long time ago, right? In the event that the XRP ledger is equipped with smart contract capability that is superior or comparable to write, what will occur? Just try to picture the number of builders and the amount of content that will be added to the XRP ledger once that development takes place. That is exactly what we are looking forward to because we are that. This is not the price of speculation for where we are at the moment. It is not this. It is not this nonsense that is worth 58 cents, you know? This is supposition. This is not speculation. And this is. Speculations like this are being made by both you and I. In this case, the price of XRP is not the same as the utility price of XRP. The pricing is something that I can't wait to find out. As soon as we hit, XRP is currently the most valuable utility price. So if you have 3,000 XRP, you are in the top 10% of the market. If you hold 10,000 XRP, you are in the top 5% of the market. If you own 20,000 XRP, you are in the top 3% of the market. However, if you have 61,000 additional XRP, which is equivalent to 1,476 RP, you are in the top 1% of the pool. Of course, if you are extremely wealthy and you have more than 420,000 XRP, you are in the top 0.1 of the pool. Additionally, if you are aware that if you do not have $70 million in additional money, you are in the top 1% of the population. The question is, where are you? To what kind of whale do you belong? What species of fish are you called? Do you have an 